you were to tell me which one's 34, I would have said this guy. He is. Yeah. Wait, the other guys. No, the guy that just got in is 34. That's this guy. That's Jason Hunt. Okay, then never mind. Then the I was white right. dude. You can be slightly racist here. Oh, no. I won't go Paula Dean on it. Don't do that. Yeah. Jersey's back. And his opponent. In the blue corner, this is a good fight right here. Stop as far as the right amateurs now. goes, this goes. Can you let him do this? Jesus. So you see that two and one, and you, you might not realize how good Jason Huntley is, but his one loss is in RFA. Now, this is another amateur question, but do the refs switch off each fight? Not each fight, but yes, they'll switch off and, and keep themselves fresh. Sure, sure. You know. What's the name of this referee here? Travis Mateer. Gotcha. One of the top ten refs in the state. they got to be nimble They're on their feet nine. as well. They absolutely need to be. He's got wrestling shoes on. He should be nimble. <laughs> in case a wrestling match breaks out. Well, that's what's going to happen with Jason Huntley in the cage. What kind of style do each of these guys have? Well, Huntley, definitely a wrestler. Yeah, Jason told me he'd been wrestling since he was in kindergarten. So that's That was like 30 time. years ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah. And then Mark Siance wrestled as well. He wrestled in college and high school both. He also played uh, football, so he's a pretty athletic guy. Football, baseball, I think he wrote, didn't he? Uh, no, that Fo was Caleb Murth, okay. but. Football wrestling, gotcha, gotcha. There you go. George Jenkins School, Lakeland, Florida. Now That's is good. there a, a style or a strategy being pinned in the corner like this? Never mind. Call it tie, like a clinch, but that's not really a clinch. It was mainly him just working for a takedown, and it totally failed right there. Now this is Jason's first fight at 125. Uh, his three previous bouts have taken place at 135 which is the Bantamweight division. I'll tell you what, he set that uh, triangle up right there. He really did. Is he going to go to the arm bar or just the triangle? He's in, right now, Mark Tiense is in trouble. Yeah, this is an academy special right here. I wouldn't say he's in trouble, but he's certainly uh, being set high up guard, to be in trouble. Real high guard with both, uh, one arm isolated, you're in trouble. I know Mark had a little bit of trouble making weight yesterday. Eventually he did. Mark seemed very confused, oh, wow. but he's got that arm right now, and that is wow. a bad position to be in for Jason Huntley. And oh, yeah. he let it go though. Let it go. Need a belly pass, but he's in. He's loose. <laughs> and wow, yeah. these are <laughs> these are some crazy. I want to say these here. are great transitions, but they're pretty sloppy. But whatever. But even still, oh. 125. He's gonna survive if he wants to. Now this would be impressive stoppage considering Jason most recently went uh, three rounds with RFA prospect Carlos Huerta, who's who's 5-0. and oh. Now, There's, we saw in the last fight that when they were in this position, the other guy was hitting the other guy in the head. Yes. How come there's like a stalemate here? Is that this guy's style? He, or? he could if he wanted to. Like right that. Now, he's trying to get a choke. He, now he's hitting him sure. to set up that choke. So, Drew, I'm supposed to go in there after this fight? Yes. Okay. Now it looks like he's just trying to put him to sleep. Yeah, that's going like to happen right here because that is – nope, he's turning yeah, into that's, – That's tight. He yeah, survived as long as he could, bro, but that'll do her. Wow. wow. Mark Siense, welcome to Minnesota. No kidding. Mark improves to 5-0. and oh. All his wins by stoppage. What a fight. Very impressive Minnesota debut. Yeah. Wow. Right off the bat, he had him. I, the, my favorite part about this whole situation is – I didn't do that. The chair fell apart behind me. Is it's fighting, but at the very end, there's a a sportsmanship to it. Absolutely. You saw Marco over there give him a little handshake, pat yeah. on the back, which is kind of surprising to me as well. When I first got into MMA, uh, I had watched a documentary called uh, The Smashing Machine. And you would see these guys, and you would assume they hate each other. But then yeah. you saw afterwards, there was a great deal of respect, almost more than more respect than I've seen in any other sport. And uh, yeah, it, it's 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 a pretty cool thing to see. Yeah, so far so good. So far two, you know, good fights. The first one better than the After second one, but two quick stoppages. Yeah, yeah, it's always a. Uh, Ben Pearson's going to join Mark Siance for an interview here.